As the world shifts towards sustainable transportation, electric vehicles have emerged as a promising solution. However, the success of EVs depends heavily on their battery performance and optimization. Today, throughout this video, we'll dive into the critical factors that affect the efficiency, range and lifespan of EV batteries and explore the innovative solutions that are being developed to optimize battery performance. From advanced battery chemistries to smart battery management systems, we'll cover everything you need to know about battery optimization in EV. But before we begin with that, I'd like to request you guys to enable both subscribe button and bell icon so that you won't miss out on any update coming from our IntelliPath YouTube channel. Well, to begin with, there are no new fancy methods to optimize battery life. Rather, the life of battery depends on certain factors. If we somehow manage to optimize those factors, the battery life will automatically get optimized. The first such factor we have on our list is battery chemistry used in an electrical vehicle. So first thing first, batteries store energy that powers the electric motor in an electrical vehicle and most often these batteries are usually made up of something called as lithium ion. For this lithium ion battery to work, there exists an important substance known as electrolyte. It is a special liquid or gel that allows the energy to flow between the two parts of the battery, the cathode and the anode. When you charge the battery, energy flows into the cathode and when you use the battery, energy flows out of the anode. But here is where it gets interesting. The type of material used for the cathode and anode can make a big difference in how well the battery works. Scientists are always trying to find ways to make batteries more efficient and longer lasting. And one way they do this is by experimenting with different materials. For example, some scientists are working on something called solid state batteries. These batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of liquid or gel, which makes them safer and potentially more efficient. Other scientists are experimenting with different types of materials for cathode and anode. Some of these materials can store more energy than lithium ion batteries, which would mean that electric vehicles could travel even farther on a single charge. So why is all this important? Well, the better the battery chemistry, the more efficient and longer lasting the batteries in electrical vehicles will be. This means that we can travel farther on a single charge which makes electric vehicles more practical for everyday use. And not only that, but the better the battery chemistry, the more affordable electric vehicles will become. As scientists discover more efficient and cost effective ways to make batteries, the cost of electric vehicles will continue to decrease, making them accessible to more and more people. So to sum up things, battery chemistry plays a crucial role in optimizing the performance of batteries in electric vehicles. And only by experimenting with different materials and electrolytes, we can try and make batteries more efficient, longer lasting and affordable. Now, the second crucial factor for battery optimization is battery capacity. Battery capacity is basically how much energy a battery can hold. Think of it like a cup of water. If you have a big cup, you can hold more water than if you have a small cup. The same goes for batteries. If you have a battery with high capacity, it can store more energy than a battery with lower capacity. Now, why is this important? Well, the higher the battery capacity, the farther you can travel on a single charge. Let's take an example of two electric vehicles. One vehicle has a battery with capacity of 50 kilowatt hour and the other has battery with capacity of 100 kilowatt hour. If both vehicles are driving at the same speed and using the same amount of energy, the vehicle with 100 kilowatt hour battery will be able to travel twice as far on a single charge as the one with 50 kilowatt hour battery. This is why battery capacity is so important when it comes to optimizing the performance of batteries in electric vehicles. 
manufacturers are constantly trying to improve battery capacity so that electric vehicles can travel farther on a single charge one such way of optimizing is by using more efficient materials in the battery like we talked about earlier if the materials can store more energy then the battery will have a higher capacity another way is by changing the physical structure of the battery for example some manufacturers are working on something called stacked batteries these batteries have multiple layers of cells stacked on each other which increases the overall capacity of the battery but there is a catch the higher the battery capacity the longer it takes to charge it's like filling up a bigger cup with water it takes more time than filling up a smaller cup right so manufacturers also have to balance battery capacity with charging time it's a delicate balance but one that will ultimately help make electric vehicles more practical and sustainable for everyone now that brings us to the third factor which is very critical for battery optimization i'd say on a scale of importance this will score perfect for you and it's commonly known as bms or battery management system so the battery management system is like the brain of the battery it helps to monitor and control the battery's performance to make sure it is running efficiently and safely think of it like a traffic cop who helps to keep everything moving smoothly on the roads this bms is made up of different components one of the main component is battery sensor which help to measure things like temperature and voltage of the battery this information is sent to the bms which uses it to make decisions about how the battery should be used for example if the battery is getting too hot the bms might reduce the amount of power going to the motor to help cool down the battery or if the battery is running low on power the bms might limit the top speed of the vehicle to make sure you can still make it to your destination the battery management system also helps to make sure that the battery is being used evenly you see batteries are made up of lots of smaller cells and if one cell is working harder than the others it can cause problems the bms helps to distribute the workload evenly across all of the cells so that the battery lasts longer and works more efficiently now why is all of this is important well the battery management system help to optimize the performance of battery which means that the battery lasts longer and performs even better this is crucial in electric vehicles because the battery is the most expensive and important part of the vehicle also the system helps keep you safe if there is problem with battery the bms can detect it and alert you before anything bad happens this is important because batteries can be dangerous if they are not managed properly so in conclusion the battery management system plays a crucial role in optimizing the performance of batteries in electric vehicles it helps to monitor and control the battery's performance to make sure it is running efficiently and safely this is more of a regulatory factor for ev to run efficiently and make sure that the battery performs optimally for longer period of time now moving forward the next factor i have on my list is battery cooling just like how you feel hot and sweaty when you play outside in the sun for too long batteries can also get hot when they are used too much this is because when a battery is being used it creates energy and that energy creates heat now if the battery gets too hot it can start to have problems it might not work as well or it might not last as long so in electric vehicles it's really important to keep the battery cool to make sure it stays in good condition this is where battery cooling comes in battery cooling is like little air conditioning system for the battery it helps to keep the battery at the right temperature by blowing cool air over it there are few different ways that battery cooling can be done in electric vehicle one way is to use liquid coolant kind of like how the radiator in your car works the coolant is pumped through the battery pack to absorb heat 
and then it's cool down again and pump back through. Another way is to use air cooling which is kind of like a fan blowing over the battery to keep it cool. This is simpler and less expensive than liquid cooling but it might not work as well in very hot climates. The important thing is that the battery stays at the right temperature to work efficiently and last a long time. When a battery is too hot, it can degrade faster and lose capacity, which means it won't be able to store as much energy as it used to. This can be a big problem in electric vehicles because it means you won't be able to drive as far on a single charge. I hope these two solutions and the probable problems you may face while dealing with battery cooling are clear to all of you. That being said, we have arrived at the fifth and final optimization factor on our list, which is regenerative braking. Regenerative braking is a special type of braking that actually helps to recharge the battery in an electric vehicle. When you press the brake pedal in an electric vehicle, the regenerative braking system kicks in and slows down the vehicle. At the same time, it converts the kinetic energy of the vehicle's motion into electrical energy, which is then stored in the battery. This is really important because it means that you are not wasting all of that energy that would normally just be lost as heat when you brake. Instead, you are capturing it and using it to recharge the battery. Think of it like, imagine you are playing with a yo-yo. If you don't know what yo-yo is, have a look at the screen. Basically, it's a toy consisting of a pair of joint discs with a deep groove between them, in which string is attached and wound. It can be spun alternatively downward and upward by its weight and momentum as the string unwinds and rewinds. Now, when you throw this yo-yo out, it spins and stores the energy. When you pull it back, it uses that energy to come back up. Regenerative braking works kind of like that itself. When you slow down or stop your electric vehicle, it stores energy in the battery, which can then be used to power the vehicle later on. Not only does regenerative braking help to recharge the battery, but it also helps to make the brakes last longer. That's because regenerative braking system takes some of the load of the physical brakes, which means they don't have to work as hard and don't wear down as quickly. In conclusion, regenerative braking is a really important part of optimizing the performance of batteries in electric vehicles. It helps to recharge the battery and make the brakes last longer, which means that the vehicle can go further and be more efficient. Plus, it's pretty cool to think that you can use the energy from braking to help power your car, isn't it? I hope you guys get the picture of battery optimization in an EV. Basically, the battery could only be optimized for the factors we talked about. Numerous companies are putting in tons of resources towards researching the best optimization techniques. We discussed some of the possibilities in this session itself, but there are many revolutions yet to come. I wish the information we touched upon today was quite enlightening and easy to understand. That's pretty much everything we have for this session. Thank you all for being here till the end of this video. If you have liked this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so that you won't miss out on multiple technical updates coming from our IntelliPath YouTube team. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath has this amazing advanced certification in electric vehicle design and analysis by ENITC IIT Guwahati. You will get to learn from IIT faculty and industry experts through live classes for a period of 6 months. Reach out to us to know more.